First and foremost, all thanks and praises unto our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wabrakakwadash. Peace, blessings, much respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, on down to the rest of the elders who rule well within Israel. Salutations to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons and daughters also, the water to Yahweh Shai, because without Yahweh Shai going to that cross and enduring for the nation of Israel and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. I have the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the power, and the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. So we're close to our salvation. We're so close that reading this scripture is actually just months away. Months away. Now, how many months? I don't know. It could be eight months. It could be 12 months. It could be 20 months. It can be 32 months away from now. But this, this scripture is close through the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai returns with a huge fleet of holy angels and what the world will call spaceships, those who have died before that day comes who are of the elect, they're going to hear a austere deep voice from the heavens and they're going to rise from the grave. Kind of like the same thing that happened when Yahweh Shai was risen from the grave. Other men and women came out of their graves as well. So when Yahweh Shai returns again, the dead in Yahweh Shai are going to rise first. Verse 17. Oh man, see, I'm looking at the sky and the lightning is flickering. It's just constantly flickering over and over and over again. I don't hear no thunder. It's just flickering. It's just flashing. It's like going crazy right now. It's beautiful. But that's the works of the Lord. Okay? And I perceive that could be the power of the Lord, you know, using an angel to make the sky light up like it's lighting up right now. There's no sound coming from the atmosphere. No sound of thunder. Just flashes of lightning consistently beautiful then we which are alive so those who make it through all the tribulations that Esau is trying to come with they make it through the famine you know they make it through you know cannibalism <laughs> they, they, they make it through civil war they make it through all these different diverse adversities right eventually the time is going to come where the missiles are going to be shot off and simultaneously as the missiles are being shot off Yahweh Shai and the host of angels are going to return and pick up those who had first died in this truth right and then those who are still alive after are going to be called up. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. And this proves there's actually people on earth who aren't going to die right now. You got to imagine that. You may have been born, came into this earth and this life, and will never have to taste death again. You're, you're going right into the kingdom of heaven, into a new body, into eternity not tasting death you know since one of your past lives since your last past life so to speak that's crazy then we which are alive and I hope to be one of those men who are still on earth but that's not up to me it's not up to us but my hope is for the Lord to deliver me through it all you know that that's why 
I do what I'm doing. Man, the sky, man. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's all so eerie. It's just flickering, going crazy, man. Okay. Let me make this turn here. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Speaking of Yahweh Shai. The elect are going to be gathered together through Yahweh Shai. Now Yahweh Shai is coming with a host of angels, but I believe all the elect are going to go into Yahweh Shai's ship. Who knows? Yahweh Shai's ship might have a whole bunch of entrances, like 144,000 entrances or something. You know, you know, just just saying, just speaking as a man, like when he returns, when you think of a, a common spaceship or a so-called UFO, you think of the middle being the opening, just one giant middle. It could be like that, or it could be multiple openings for the elect to come in. Just one giant, uh, like it's going to be like a giant planet on its own. So these are things we get to look forward to. And you have to imagine seeing Yahweh Shai return. How how scary that would actually be, though. I mean, you got to really ponder on that. As much as we're excited, we want to see these things. You got to imagine the terror that's going to come upon us when we see the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, appear in a huge chariot in his fullness, in his power. That's going to be some terrifying stuff right there, man. I ain't even going to lie. Man, if I'm still alive on that day, I, I can guarantee you I'm going to fall to the ground like I'm dead. Like, there, there's no way I can see something like that and 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 <laughs> and live without the Lord, <laughs> you know, holding my hand. Because, you know, a lot of people in this world, they claim they want to see who they call the Messiah. They want to see angels and all that. It's like, do you really? Do, do you know what you're saying? You know, you're not you're not talking about a, a fairy uh, or a, a a feminine baby angel. We're, we're talking about austere power. We're, we're talking about warriors, man. Yahweh Shai, the angels, they're warriors, and a lot of men on this earth who are very sensitive and cowardly, they wouldn't even understand that because in their mind, angels are just these guys who approach you and say, hey man, how, how you doing? No, angels are, are men of war. And at any given time, if the Lord tell them, they ready to put something to death. All right, they don't, they don't go around just smiling, holding smiles on their faces, all right? So when Yahweh Shai returns, it's going to be a joy to see, but it's, it's also going to be a, a, a fearful moment, a fearful sight. So you gotta imagine, you know, we survived all these other things. <laughs> we survived all the the floodgates of hell. And then we have to witness the the fearful sighting of seeing our Lord return. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> that ain't no joke, man. But you know, the Lord's with us, man. You know, the Lord's with us. But I think about stuff like that. Like, I've actually prayed to the Lord which the Lord does what he wants, but I, I pray to the Lord to not really send me visions like that. Cause I don't, I don't really, um, <laughs> I, I don't really care for them because they, they, they kind of put me in fear and I wouldn't want to see no angel or nothing like that right now. Like I could wait, you know, just speaking as a man, you know, I couldn't imagine seeing an angel right now and, and, and not, you know, falling to the ground in fear, I think about these things, man. I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> like, I can wait. You know, certain people, they'll they'll pray and they'll just, oh, I'd, I'd love to see an angel, you know, just show me a sign. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with just, <laughs> you know, looking up in the sky and seeing chariots and other various things, man. You know, all that heavy stuff, whoo, you know, it's, it's coming. We're going we gonna to be seeing some great things, man. We're going to be seeing some great things. A lot of guys, they take this truth light. They don't understand <laughs> how powerful this truth is, man. All right? Anyway, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, speaking of the chariots. So there's going to be other uh, Israelites already on the chariots, those who have already passed. Okay? And then others who may not have passed but they may have got on they, they may have gotten on the chariot seconds before you so you're gonna go
go up on the spaceship, so to speak, and you're going to see other elect up there. This is what we have to look forward to. To meet the Lord in the air. And it says to meet the Lord in the air. So the Lord ain't coming up, you know, in some tour van. The Lord ain't about to pull up in a Hellcat. The Lord is pulling up in something way better and it's coming from the air. Okay? And so shall we be. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So, yeah, we got to comfort one another with these words. And understand, like, man, there's going to come a day where this pays off. You have to look at this truth like having a savings account that you can't touch. You have a banking account and you're saving up all this money. As much as you'd like to go into it and spend, you know, you can't get to the you can't get to the money right now. It's like you're you're sitting on an egg. And every day this this bank account is just getting full of trillions and trillions of dollars. Every day that you do the work, every day that you endure and overcome, you know, temptations and, you know, you do you do the right thing because the Lord is going to set us up very nice. And we have to be comforted in knowing that although we catch hell now, we are in the best position than anybody on earth. OK. Mark nine and one, I have to get into this job. And he said unto them, verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of the power come with power. And that's what I just read. So those who get caught up into them chariots who are still alive, they're not going to have to taste death. That doesn't take away others who may have to taste death. You're going to be the first on the chariot anyway. But I'm going to go on ahead and... uh Leave you with that. Lord willing, that was simple and edifying. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom. I'm out.